Hey, this is a podcast. No, wait, it's a comedy podcast. Well, we tried to make it a comedy podcast and uh, it's not meant to offend anyone. So don't get offended, okay? And wait, there's something else. Oh yeah, yeah, listener discretion is advised. Audiomatic presents Our Last Week. Hi Kunal. Hi Paul. How are you Kunal? I'm good. Yeah, I'm very well. So this is a rare privilege. We have our producers in the room with us. Yes. Yeah. I don't think we've ever introduced our producers. We we've spoken about them. They are nice people. <laughs> Goodly folk. Goodly folk. They make this happen. Yeah. Yeah. They should be talking about conundrums. Yeah. They're more qualified than us. That's but they sure. they are so clever that they wouldn't want to share conundrums with the public. No. They'll keep them private. This is the thing, na? like most people don't use humor for retail entertainment. Yeah. I've run out of things to say in my life. life. So, so let's learn on the podcast. Yeah. Because I'm using it all on the podcast. Now I can't say like, I, and I feel like a cheat if I repeat any of these things that we speak about yeah. in life. Yeah. Like if I'm, if I say it to another person, like, like we've what heard a pop it. Out. We've, we've heard, heard it. Yeah. Or I've heard it. So then it's a big problem because I feel like a cheat. Yeah. For repeating a thought like two, three times. And imagine if you're having coffee, right? And you bring up something like, you know, this the, see the weird thing about soap. And yeah. you're like, oh shit, that's a conundrum. Psst, shit, yeah. How can I be, I can't be a digging into my, like, L- life bad. and art uh, thing. But even before we get into it, yeah. you've been having some issues with deodorant. Not with the deodorant. Yeah. What happened was that on one of these uh, sites, not yeah. Amazon, like one of these other sites, you know, like they, they link to your credit card, whatever, whatever. And yeah. then you get to do some shopping and points and all of that. And I bought a roll-on deo. Okay. And you buy deodorant online? Sometimes. Yeah. So you can't smell it on your laptop. See, but like a deo is going to last two weeks. So at the most, you'll smell, smell weird for two, three weeks. Yeah. Remember there was a powder called lavender dew? Yeah. No, no. They, they, what is the one? Yardley. Yardley. Lavender. Yes. Yardley. The word lavender, like you know it's not going to smell like... Ass. Correct. I mean, sometimes it does. But Yardley, lavender, I mean, there's so many that, you know, you can trust that, okay, it's, yeah. not, it's going... I go by the basic thing that it's very hard to smell worse than me. So anything that's <laughs> like, a little bit better than me, yeah. it's I mean, it's a different smell from my own body. Odor. But that's why deodorants were invented. In fact, I'm surprised the tagline for all deodorants is not deodorant. It just it should Don't be, be you. Yeah. Better than you smell. <laughs> that's all in it. <laughs> smell good smell, yeah. bad smell. Better than your body. Like whatever you smell like, this is a little better. Whoever you are, yeah. this is better than that. Yeah. Anyway, you so went I online. I ordered a little roll on. It was like 150, 180 bucks, a little thing, and I got it and I used it. A couple of weeks passed, and then I get a phone call yeah. saying, uh, "Sir, uh, you ordered a deodorant. Mm. Uh, I am calling for your feedback." Mm. Uh, so it was like a, I, they wanted a review of the deodorant that I had ordered. Nice. So so they said, "Apko kaisa laga mm. uh, deo?" Mm. And so, kaisa laga? I said, laga, jaise, dio lagta hai, say, I mean, kuch khas nahi tha, kuch, I mean, it was normal, it's a normal, it's a deodorant. You, you know? asked the guy's name or you, you didn't it get it? It was a lady, it was a lady, lady yeah. But she was like, nahi, bas feedback chahiye tha, you know, ki product aapko kaise laga. And I was like, you know, I'm spending a lot of time on this conversation. Hmm. And it was a product that was, you know, it's just like a 150, 200 rupee product. It, I hadn't bought like a a car or I hadn't you know bought like a big mm. like a, you know like mm. a TV or something because I'm sure they also might be I, 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 in fact I don't even know if like you buy a big product like a refrigerator or an air conditioner do they call and say kaisa laga but they do call when the service of the thing happens yeah like if you service an AC they say kaisa raha aapka service yeah 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 or you service a car they say how did you enjoy how is the car feeling and all that stuff Fair enough. Our team member, Rupesh, was in your house yeah. five minutes ago. How, How did he behave? What was it like? <laughs> Tell <laughs> us the whole experience. whole paragraph. Yeah. Rupesh was Tell lovely. us from the beginning, sir. From the beginning. <laughs> See, Rupesh wanted to go to the toilet, then asked him, do you want some water? You know, you get into a full thing full about thing. Rupesh. 
so i so i then i said ki bas uh, there's nothing more i had to say about the deodorant yeah so what do you think pal that like should every I, purchase you make in life i think come you, with do you have to review everything like honestly i'm disappointed buy? in you Why? honestly because you were home yeah not much was going on no <laughs> you could have easily talked to this person for longer yeah you could have rev- i was saying that these are your moments in life hmm. that i think that you always wonder we've talked about this hmm. you were always just like what can i do more with my life what can i do more with my life and where can this call take me <laughs> where can this possibly go yeah so now this lady said kaisa laga are main ye phone call ke liye wait kar raha tha aap pehle phone karne wale the are ek kaam aap aa jao आप घर आ जाइए बहुत कुछ बोला ये फोन में नहीं होगा एक काम करो कितना टाइम है आपके पास यू गेट इट डू इट इन अ बिग वे या यू नो फर्स्ट लेट मी टेल यू पैकेजिंग स्टार्ट यू अनबॉक्स फॉर ऑन द फोन यू डू अ वर्बल ओरल अनबॉक्सिंग यू नो देयर इज अ कॉमेडियन कॉल्ड टॉड बैरी इज एन अमेरिकन कॉमेडियन एंड ही गॉट इन टू डिओडरेंट इन अ बिग वे बिकॉज ही use some deodorant mm. and it didn't smell like anything mm. and he wanted to find out more about the deodorant and this is what 10 years ago he joined the yahoo group mm. for that deodorant was 62 was people was it a forum it was a forum yahoo for thank you it's yeah. a forum a uh, 62 people talking about this deodorant and ultimately he became such good friends that four of them went fishing over deodorant they are you all users then they got to know each other and then they they said chal we'll we'll go fishing and i, I guess they all use this deodorant but they met through this deodorant yahoo chat forum and then life events can happen between those people like real life they could things marry, they, could, they could marry they could marry they could have they go on trips together and so look all, at all the opportunities you missed yeah, so by I'm being judgy now. that why is she calling me yeah, what, oh, is what is there to review in a deodorant There's everything to review. See, the thing is that he felt passionate enough yeah. about a product yeah. to go onto that forum, and yeah. he found like-minded people. Sixty-two others. Sixty-two others who felt strongly enough to get onto a computer and talk about this thing. Full. And that's full fair. Paragraph. That's fair because then you feel strongly about something, and that is your commonality. I find it difficult when you don't feel strongly about a thing. because then then i'm just meeting other people who don't feel <laughs> strongly about the deodorant so then you should have so called then, her said, and that is aur aur koi hai jo aapke aapke muh pe sab, phone band kar diya sab aise hi karte hain sir sabke number do mujhe correct <laughs> because then i'll have a very large group of people who i can chill with <laughs> because all of them don't give a shit hello yeah you also hated this deodorant yeah i hated yeah. it you yeah. talk you yeah, let's talk, talk man who are what you? are you doing tonight who are you <laughs> I'm Kunal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. My name is Rupesh. You want to go bowling? <laughs> cha cha. You want to come and shit on this dude and come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More recently, there was a Swiggy guy who came to my house, hmm. and I said, "Sorry, I have to wait. I have to wait. I have to wait. I have to wait. I am really sorry." And I was trying to be nice to him, and he just told. He shut me up. He said, "Chup chup. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. All write in the review. And give me five stars." Dijiye. Hmm. So now, because we are all about big data and technology, hmm. he doesn't want to be thanked or loved in yeah. person. Nobody yeah. wants to be. This is everything you have to say. Just say it in that box, right? And with those stars, the stars are everything. Yeah. Actually, why are you and I talking? Yeah. We should just give each other stars. Our listeners should give us stars. Just stars. Just give us two, three stars. That's it, and then maybe our listeners can meet and fall in love. Hmm. Just hmm. you know, we should put this up somewhere. This this what is this? What do we call it? A podcast, and be like, write what you want under it, and maybe you'll meet your life partner here. Hmm. 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 You know, like someone wrote some conundrum about like this podcast is shit. Oh shit! Even you think it's shit. Oh, I think it's where shit. Where are you? Where are you tonight? I'm in Canada. You? I also live in Canada. Yeah. I love you. Like for example, there is a lady. Hmm. I don't know. She's she's a young lady who reviews uh, this podcast. Yeah, and she often comes to my Instagram and abuses me. She abuses you. Yeah, yeah. She's like a young lady, right? And I'm like a middle aged man just trying to live my life. I've got lots of problems of my own. But then in the middle of all my problems, there's this other person. She's like, "Ah, oh, you." Like she writes to me saying, "Oh, Kunal was trying to finish a sentence and you didn't let him finish." Again, 
We've spoken about this before also, Paul. Yeah, have we? Someone's still writing to you saying that same lady finish. constantly. Uh, no, I would say that you know she's please, probably right. No, no, I would say please feel free to cut me off because mostly I'm talking crap and it's just you nice. You don't know what you're saying. Yes, yeah, I see, don't know what I'm saying. See now, lady, if you're listening to this, stop harassing me <laughs> because Kunal himself is saying I don't cut him off. Yeah. But every two three days she'll show up and a new episode comes out and say don't cut, don't yeah. cut again, <laughs> uncle. <laughs> like she just, she just abused me, and I'm saying, young lady, thank you for listening. First of all, we're yeah. very happy. But if you want to harass an old man, find another old man to harass. This is the same as like, you know, I'm trying to walk by the road and five kids are playing cricket, and they throw anger, anger, and they throw stones at you. Yeah. This is the same thing happening on Instagram. That doesn't happen to me as yet, but soon I'm It'll sure. Get there. Yeah. You'll get there. You're getting there. It's close. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about this, but a lot of modern Indian fights, hmm. because I've got nothing to do, so I spend a lot of time on social media, and which is disgraceful for hmm. a man of my age. But you know, I mean, look at me. There is a lot of stuff on social media, which is like nowadays people don't fight with each other, hmm. right? Hmm. They're like, "Tune mera train seat le le, ab maar dunga." So that doesn't happen. What happens is people hold up their phones hmm. and they capture a mi- incident of conflict. Hmm, hmm. So, and my favorite, and I do this every night before going to bed, is uh, these recordings when flights, especially in winter, are late by two three hours. Yeah, it's always one irate lady who's on the thing. Indigo five three one was supposed to leave Patna at four o'clock. This is the customer service. What is your name? What is your ma'am? We are not allowed to talk into camera. Say your name. Hmm. See, she come into the badge, ma'am. Don't take a thing of my badge. See, hmm. his name is Parvariksh, hmm. Parvariksh of Indigo. Say what you are saying. Because of fog conditions, the flight is late. Say it loud. Are we getting some compensation, Parvariksh? Are we getting? So these cameras now, yeah. I think, have jacked all. That's why they only want to talk in stars. They don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Because you pull out a camera and jack them. You know, and that's what I'm. I'm wondering is that. Is that is it possible to just have a normal fight without, like earlier earlier the escalation would be between two people, right? One would be and right, violence. one would be wrong, and would might go into violence, might not, but it would be a shouting match, and the witnesses would just be the people in that space. Just that group. अरे बात तो लड़ाई हो गया सर एयर इंडिया वो फ्लाइट अच्छा कितने बजे अच्छा अरे वो मार दिया उस ड्यूटी ऑफिसर को क्या बात कर रहे हैं एंड देन देट बी द रूमर्स अराउंड द फ्लाइट फाइट एंड ड्यूटी ऑफिसर मर गया वो मर गया वो बट नाउ एवरीथिंग इज ऑन कैमरा इट्स ऑल कैप्चर्ड सो द होल वर्ल्ड इज अ विटनेस टू अ फाइट और अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दिस मॉर्निंग आई सॉ वन वेयर दिस गाय टुक एन अदर लेडीज ब्लैंकेट एंड शी इज लाइक सी लुक एट दिस मैन ही हैज नो Something, my blanket, le liya, Rajdhani to Calcutta from Delhi. He's taken my blanket, and the guy was quite calm for hmm. a long time. He was like, oh, "Madam, whatever, apka alag blanket, apka." Suddenly, he snapped, hmm. and you could see him coming for the camera. Hmm. You know, so where it gets cut off also in a very dramatic place hmm. because he's coming for the camera. <laughs> you just see. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a and it's like a leopard attack. Yeah, you just see his face, and the ladies like, "Kiko chet, kiko chet," and kiko chet. See what he's doing, bad, and it gets cut off there. It has seven oh. million views. It's exciting because you think, did he kill her? What happened to the blanket? Yeah. Did she get it? Yeah. How far did this go? <laughs> That's I'm saying. But there will be a sequel. There will be a, <laughs> we'll, a part two. This is huge. This is like Bahubali. It's bigger than Bahubali. Now they'll have to coordinate their next train trip together so that they can create the next. <laughs> When video. are you free? <laughs> And they have to give one blanket less. Yeah. Everything has to be planned. I think why limited there because see we are in a world of chaos yeah. right like everything is collapsing uh, adani is not adani whatever we'll come mm. to that but uh, in this collapsing world everything everyone should be free to review everything with a phone mm. like why are for example actors and entertainers spared mm. even most stars are now followed and ma'am ma'am one photo sir sir one video sir please look left sir look left mm. i'm saying no mm. the same sort of thing should go to stars and actors if the public are dissatisfied with the customer service hmm i'm here <laughs> with salman khan and he's not looking my way not giving one selfie or say it to camera say it to camera correct nahi main selfie nahi de raha just just i'm here with my child say what you have to and salman is not old, stopping he's begging you he's not stopping in the airport he's walking straight through say it. note the date Sunday, we are at Terminal One. 
He has yeah. come out of flight. But what do you have to say for yourself? You are a pub. You are accountable to the Indian public. Uh, Kura. Yeah. We want to talk about something not related to our podcast. Okay. Uh, our producers, Audiomatic, have a brand new podcast. Exciting. It's called Heads and Tails. Tails as in uh, tails as in a, like uh, an as animal. As in once upon tail? a time. Or tail yeah. like a tail. Not yeah. as in like tick like a fox. No, no, no. A cricket podcast. This is what they've done. This is very exciting. Where they I'm talk about fully into cricket. I love cricket. About cricket news, banter, opinions, and a lot and lot and lot of nostalgia. I love old cricket nostalgia. High really? scoring heroics is out. First uh, episode. It's the first episode, and you must check that out. And check it out wherever you get your podcast. Oh, sorry, I forgot to name the hosts of this podcast. Two great cricket geeks, Abhishek and Nitin. And they are lovely, lovely cricket fans. And unlike us, they know what they're talking about. They know real things. Here's a snippet from the first episode. The abiding memory of Navjot Singh Sidhu from this match is how he hit young Saklain, who was just yes. making his way into an international cricket for youth sixes. Young and Saklain was merely a suckling <laughs> back then. <laughs> and Absolutely. Yes, I too felt exactly, in fact, one of the striking images of uh, from yeah. this game for me is the way Sidhu goes after Saklain. And Sidhu really, uh, very interesting cricketer, right? Uh, yes. Had two distinct phases to his career. Once when Rajan Bala said, you know, this guy is a shotless wonder who cannot play any strokes. And then... Strokeless Sidhu, wonder. Strokeless wonder, wonder, sorry. And then Sidhu goes back and, and uh, you know, re-emerges as, a, as an attacking player who would not let a spinner settle down ever. He had this in yes. interesting stance, right? Uh, he'd be a very low set stance looking much lower than a batsman normally would. You could see that he's always trying to suss the length out or he's trying to yes. he's trying to get that half a second on a bowler. Extra. And he used to charge yes. out. He would never come out of the crease, you know, in half a mind or he'd not come yes. out languidly. Or Absolutely. He would rush out of the crease. He would run half yeah. the way to long on and deposit the ball past long on. He did that to <laughs> Shane Bond in, in 98 in India. He did that to Saklain in Sharjah. And he yes. had the other shot, which was that, you know, that very pivoting, you know, sort of rumbling pull <laughs> shot that he used to play. <laughs> All over the place. One of the clumsiest, ugliest shots in the world, but very effective. Kuran. Yes. I'm in the middle of a house hunt. Okay. Uh, and I've been looking at different flats hmm. with brokers. Okay. And I, uh, I don't know how house hunts go for you. Now, when you go and see a flat, there are four or five brokers who show up or mm, people mm. in a group. And you don't know where they come from. They're not associated with the flat. There are always a group of people that come. And you're always alone. Mm. And then your broker is like, Abhi lena hai, sir. Abhi to chala jayega ye flat. Chala jayega. Mm. Dekhiye, do teen client aur bhi aagya hai. Wo, Baut demand mein hai. Baut demand mein hai. Wo log phone pe hi baat chit kar hai. Almost to ka, token de do, sir. Token de do. Hmm. And the thing is, you haven't met a soul over there. Hmm. And it's part harassment, but also part like bullying and theft. Hmm. Because nowhere else are you taken and shown a thing. You're not told who the owner is. Immediately, you're like, 30,000, give sir. Give it, sir. I'm saying, give it, give it. And before you're down, you're, you've just ended up with a flat. It's sort of like extreme arranged marriage. Hmm. Hmm. Because even arranged marriage in the old days in its worst form. Say, milo dekho. Yeah, imagine if let's say a, a, a girl was taken. You say, look out, dekho, dekho. Abhi deposit de do, de do ispe. Hmm. But I don't know him, I don't. Are these even his relatives? Is he even the boy? Are de do na? De do, das hazaar, de do, sir. I'm telling you. Hmm. Some uncle is saying, de do, de do, buy him, buy him. Hmm. So this is the thing. Now, should I, my conundrum is, should I go with my own group? To counter this group. Because there's always a group of brokers. Yeah. How do I have my own team? Yeah. Sometimes it makes sense because they are also... They, see, a, a lot of brokers try to figure mm. what is going to convince you. Mm. When you're alone, mm. they do that through conversation and say, Sir, so, you know, what are you looking for? This When you have four or five people, they look for the person who will influence you. Oh. You know? Like... Uh, madam, madam, just madam, speak to see, sir. Speak to sir. Tell him. Just yeah. explain to him that you don't have to get such a name. And I have shown you 15 flats already. Yeah. 
ऐसा नहीं मिलेगा उनको बात कीजिए आप सो आई एम दैट दे फाइंड अ रूट टू यू वन वे टू डू इट आई रियलाइज इज टू शो अप डिफरेंट मेन एंड वेमेन ईच टाइम सो द ब्रोकर डजेंट नो कौन रहेगा यहाँ पर Like let's say you have the power to do this. Yeah. One day show up with your wife and kids. One day show up with Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Yeah. So then they don't know what the scene <laughs> they is. They don't know, and they don't know who will live there. Yeah. They're so like, "Who will live here?" But sir, that family man is. But I think that and Nawazuddin Siddiqui will live together. Hmm. What? They will both live together. Nawaz for the day. Yeah. And then one day show up with the dwarf. Yeah. So <laughs> like, they say, "Who is there? Some circus? Hmm. तो कौन रहेगा नवाजुद्दीन रहेगा फैमिली रहेगा सर्कस रहेगा यू नो सो पार्टी को बुलाओ यू नो सो द इवन द या बिकॉज बिकॉज द ब्रोकर इज इंटरेस्टेड यू वांट टू इंटरेस्टेड बिकॉज द ब्रोकर्स व्हेन यू गो टू अ फ्लैट आल्सो आई फाउंड दैट यू हैव योर ओन ब्रोकर देन देयर इज अ मिडिल ब्रोकर या देन द पर्सन हु ओन्स द फ्लैट हैज अनदर ब्रोकर यू हैड दैट इन थ्री ब्रोकर्स आई हैव हैड अ दिस थिंग वेयर यू गो एंड देयर आर थ्री ब्रोकर्स एंड देन वन ऑफ देम हैड देयर सन आल्सो हु वाज लर्निंग द रोप सो देयर वर फोर ब्रोकर्स एंड नो वन वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू एनीवन नो इट वाज जस्ट लाइक you enter the flat and it's assumed that these are just people but you know that they have yeah, something people. to do they, they obviously what would they be doing in an empty flat but i think if you go with different sets of people it'll hmm. be good one day just go to see a two bed same set of two bed same broker six policemen hmm and then these like so corn lega wo family wala lega nahi hmm. wo family wala hai but uska police and no one asks hmm. nobody no broker will ask you Why have you come with six policemen? Say like, uska police ke saath kuch, kuch hai. hai. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> It could be anything. <laughs> Wo police me kuch hai. Yeah. <laughs> Fir uska doctor bhi aaya tha. Kutte ka doctor. <laughs> I had a odd conundrum, Kunal. Mm-hmm. I went to do a show in Abu Dhabi. Right. And the organizers uh, were supposed to send a car. Mm-hmm. and the, uh, the young lady was organizing and the place i was doing a show this offside they had a party the night before mm-hmm. so i think this lady was smashed hmm. when my plane landed there was no car and i waited at the airport for 2 hours hmm. and eventually i called her and called her and my flight landed at 6 about 8:30 in the morning she picked up and she said ha huh? hmm. i said hello i'm i'm on up i'm here for the comedy what <laughs> i'm doing the comedy tonight At your hotel, I was here. Come here, I said. No, listen. Is there a car? Yeah. <laughs> she hung up on me. Then, 15 minutes later, she got back saying, "Hello, sir. Hmm. You know, you've landed. I'm very sorry. You know, we're in the middle of an event. So clearly, she'd got pretty blasted the night before right. in her offside, and the car came. Hmm. But I basically hung around the airport. I was up all night for three hours. Right. Now that evening after the show. The CEO of the company said, uh, "Anubhav, everything fine with the arrangements." And the same girl was in earshot. She was hmm. in in the conversation, hmm. and that was a moment I could have said, "Listen, I had to wait for three hours for the car hmm. because this, your assistant was drunk of a mind <laughs> and I hung around there like a loser." But I said, "Everything was excellent, Rohan. Hmm. The arrangements were fantastic. Thank you." Hmm. And I made eye contact with the lady, hmm. expecting like a little acknowledgement or, or a just little a little thanks, thank a little you, wink, just wink. a little something, or a smiley sheepish, face later on the phone. Smile. Yeah, something. Yeah, little thumbs up. But her eyes were dead. Hmm. She gave me nothing. Like she'd forgotten it even happened. Oh. And then I was thinking, what is the point of kindness in the world? What is the point? I just. I felt good. You felt good. But should I have done something differently? I think that what happens is that because it's being taken for granted what you need to do in the in the, the next time it happens is that you need to bring them close to the precipice mm-hmm. close to the edge you know and you have to show them the risks of now what's going to happen oh this morning oh this morning Lots let of me things tell you what this happened morning. this morning so i landed i landed at 6:15 okay got a coffee got a coffee and then i picked up my phone so, so i'm saying that now she's in for tender the story hooks. right tender now hooks. she's tender hooks now she's on edge and she's now now it's not a little glance now she's very interested so i went to the and i started dialing my phone and what i was hoping for a message hoping for a message no message so what happens next what happens next I call the number 
And before I know it, the car is outside. The car's come. The car's ready. Yeah. She's sweating. So she is sweating. She's. I mean, she shat a little. Yeah. So unless you show the person, hmm. you know that you know I could have gone there. Yeah. I did not go, but I'm saying because you played it too smooth. Too smooth. So you made. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. The range was in fine. In fact, she was convinced that it didn't affect you. Yeah. That's how smoothly you played it. She treated me like dirt. Because she thought that it didn't have any effect on you. This guy doesn't care. Only. He doesn't care. He will wait at the airport like a dog. Airport. He'll be waiting in his room. He'll be waiting in the hotel lobby. No one difference. Yeah. But here, when you're in the position of power, you still do the right thing, but you show them toy with the power. You toy. Yeah. You have to show them both ways. Nuclear bomb. Nuclear bomb. Yeah. 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 That's, That's why I feel like old Hindi movies also they missed a trick. Mm-hmm. Because it was it was Mogambo. He yeah. always says, "My bomb giraunga India pe bomb giraunga." Yeah. He was never like, "Hey bomb, hey bomb, hey bomb." Hey. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Power is really about that responsibility. He's right. The Batman yeah. was right. It's about the toying. It's the toying. Yeah, it's But, not about like you know letting it pass, covering it up, or just shouting. It's about the ability to shout and not shout. How close can I come to the edge of trouble? Yes. Yes. You know, and then someone was not checking their messages. <laughs> Who? My mom. So we have two uh, listeners who have uh, who are Patreon subscribers who have sent us uh, some conundrums, and uh, one is uh, Sananda Mukhopadhyay. Hi, Hi Sananda. Sananda. Hello, Hi. hello. Hi, Sananda. I will read out Sananda's conundrum. I often notice people in the trains with a tiny automated counter stuck. What people uh, in the trains? They've got this little counter stuck in their fingers, and I'm told that they are counting prayers as they say it in their mind or something aloud under their breath. Oh, like those beads thing. Well, but this is not. It's like a counter. It goes click, click, oh, click, click, like and it's got a number, number on it. Yeah. And Why must prayers be counted? Also, this machine is fascinating. I don't pray, so I got one for myself. What could I count as I travel through the city? Oh, this is brilliant. Hmm. Oh, like, oh, it's like ram, 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 but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So I, I guess generally they do it with a bead. Uh, I know what you could do on flights. Beads on flights. What can you do? You could count turbulence. You could count uh, one two, babies crying. Three. Yeah, babies crying. You could count. Uh, what one, I two, would three, count four. is the number of construction sites around my house. Yeah. Because that would run into the hundreds. Yeah, it would be faster than ram 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 ram. Yeah. Yeah. You want to three? Lodha 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 lodha. <laughs> You know, Oberoi, Oberoi, Oberoi. Now, Rustam Ji, Rustam Ji, Lo Da, Lo Da, Lo Da, Ram Ram, Ram Ram, BMC, 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 BMC. Yeah, yeah. prestige, prestige, etc. <laughs> Bellissimo, Bellissimo. Yeah, yeah. But why are prayers counted? Do you know why should prayers be counted? It's like working out. Like, what is the point of doing? It's like set six lunges. Yeah, or in, or one back squat. Correct. So you do you, you keep count, na? No? Yeah. So I'm saying uh, squats, squats. That also you can squats. count on this machine. You can count that also, but that's very boring. But you could, but it does need a count. So I think prayers is like that workout. So if you don't have the count or the thing, then you'll be lost, na? No? If you have to do it a hundred, but but shit, the, how many times did I say God's name? Shit, shit. I have to say, I have to say. God's oh, it's name here, fifty-two. Shit, got fifty-two. I got to do another sixty. Oh, another fifty. But um, but why do you have to count it? It's a very good question. I See, think that by doing all, it once, is it like just doing one bicep curl? Look at like, look like at if you got nothing's going to happen. Like you have to say it a hundred and one times, and then then it resonates. Yeah, because or is it the focus of the energy is more, or is this just like you're not spending enough time doing this? I want to occupy more of your time in your day because if you just say this prayer once. You're done in like also, five seconds. Hello, God. You got one billion people saying God's name. There should be some threshold number before you start listening, na? No? See, it's about control, right? Yeah. Now, how I can't control you mm -hmm. if you just do it for ten seconds in the day. Mm. If I need to control a par portion of your day and I need a negotiating tool with you, right? How many times did you do it? Yeah, six I million. Did, six million. Ah, see, now we have to do six million. Now something will happen. Now, now from tomorrow, do four member. million. Now yeah. four million will do. Now four million. I'm saying that unless you have a number which is occupying time in a person's day, yeah, 
like you know you're doing it for a certain amount of time it doesn't the, the value decreases like 12 what is that what is that because you finish in like 45 Rubbish. seconds in 3 minutes it's over when you are saying i'm committing one hour to this mm. thing mm. then it's a portion of your day mm. has gone in doing that that means that this has now got more control over me mm. and then god will also notice no that's what they're saying like, like when you go to one of the temples hmm. and some says you know ye donation mein 12 lakh diya hai hmm. Hmm. suddenly everyone wakes up yeah you know even god is like one sec just one sec one sec come here come here how much yeah 12 lakhs come 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 come, come yeah. to the inner room there's a special <laughs> vip line because i remember you got to stand out you have to stand out i went to a darga once and uh, there was the you know in the middle they they have the thing with the it's the like chadar, a, like yeah. a jadu oh, never jaduish kind yeah, of thing yeah. it's like feathers yeah and they're doing that and then they bless people with the thing as you go around the darga and uh, and people were throwing money not throwing but giving money you know like people holding out money you know, the crowd and the guy was just collecting the money collecting the money he was collecting the money and then one guy had 10 rupees so the guy took the 10 rupees and he gave the guy a tapli on his head not enough <laughs> You've come all this way. You've come all this way with ten bucks. Yeah. See, so long, such a long journey you took, and all that stuff. You came from so far, and you did all these Climbed things. Climb these steps. Climb whatever you did, and all that stuff. Fat. He gave him one tuppy on his. Deserves head. it. This is why you need religious coordinators. Yeah. To tell you your place. This is all you. Ten bucks. I'm poor. Who cares? We are poor. You know. Yeah. Uh, That is why some temples mm. in the walk up like Tirupati, they have ATMs along the way. Mm-hmm. So you know, don't forget. Mm. You know, remember what you're going up to see. Yeah, this is a great device, though. It's a great device. It's a good one. Aditi, yes, is our Patreon listener. Excellent, excellent conundrum. I recently put down my papers in front of my long distance boyfriend of almost three years. I declared that I'm breaking up with him. He was very upset listening to it and literally cut the phone in my face. He hasn't called back since. Now here's the conundrum. There is a very exciting singles party to find a match happening in the city that I live in. Am I eligible to go for this party? Hundred percent. She's yeah. put down papers. I mean, she's put down papers. Now I I guess she means that she just spoke to him over the phone. But I I but we can also assume that there are physical papers. She's here. written. I I'm going further. I'm saying it was verbal, but also because it's not a divorce, so there yeah. aren't official papers from a court. She wrote up some papers. She Could wrote be up some stamp paper also. It's a proper signed, sealed, 50, delivered sort rupees. of thing. Yeah. Now beyond that, what boy? If anybody in the singles party says, "Are you single?" She just pull out this paper. She just like, this mm. is it. Mm. Read. Mm. I have. She's delivered it. Now what? That guy also he doesn't have any papers. Then he has to write a paper saying I reject your paper. Ha. Huh. Then they have to go to a private court because this is not a legal document. See what we're saying is that once in a relationship, once it's broken from one end. A lot of people's contention is that listen, you broke it, mm. but I haven't broken it. Yeah, that means that you, you still see, can't cheat if because one, I haven't broken it. But that's not this thing because I think in a relationship, once it's broken from one end, it's fully broken. If a right? bridge has collapsed. Yeah, one end of the bridge has collapsed. Then people can't still walk on. There's it. nothing. No, there's, there's no bridge. So there is no bridge. So if she's let go of the rope on one end, <laughs> yeah, he's just holding he's the fallen. other end and he's he's dangling in the, in the river. Yeah, he's either dangling or he's in the river. So basically, there is no relationship. Not now. If he says that, listen, you can't be with anyone else. Yeah, because I'm still holding on to this rope. That's your problem. That's his problem. My conundrum is that is it because of the singles party that she has called off the relationship? That's her business. Because it's so exciting. Very exciting. That you don't want to see this guy's face. That it's like my God, it's like. But then I guess then in any case, it's time to look. Outside. I once uh, missed a funeral, not yeah. of someone close, to go to eat a particular biryani I loved, which I know was they were running out. It was only available for certain thing, and I had to go to someone's funeral, and I didn't go, and I went for the biryani. So. Maybe this three-year relationship is See, like the funeral, funeral should never be gone for the person who's died. Yeah, it should always be gone to for the people who have survived. <laughs> yeah, right. So if the people who have survived don't mean much to you, they didn't mean anything. So then the biryani is superior. Yeah, if the person you cared for is alive. I mean, yeah, I mean, and my, they have lost someone, then it's important that you're there. I, I okay, it was my accountant's dad who I didn't know. 
I care for my accountant no, no, every no. month. Then you should have been there. Then you should have gone for the biryani with your accountant. But because I, then you need I, to be there for that person. Now, if the accountant had died, yeah. you don't need to be there for his dad. If the accountant had died, I'd have no money to eat the biryani only. So I'd have much bigger problem. <laughs> That's true. I'd have way bigger problem. That's true. I totally understand Aditi's point. If the if the party is exciting enough that she needs to dump this sorry man, first the long distance. So where where are you also? And she's written down a full note mm-hmm. on why this is not going to work out. Then I mean, she's taken the trouble to write it down. You see this with scripts all the time. No matter how bad scripts are. Actors read them because it's written down. Mm. Once you write something down, now it's damn hard. You could write down anything, blah blah blah. I hate you, blah blah blah. blah but it's written down. Mm. It's printed and signed. It's taken a physical form. It's physical form. <laughs> it's over for it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going off to play with my uh, little bead thing. Just make a count. So I can just keep counting builders in Bombay. That's that's a good way to spend. Hiranandani, 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 Lodha, 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 Raja, Raja, Raja. It's gonna have a god bead. Yeah. Hey. And listen, if you've got nothing to do with your life, or if, you or if some, you've got something, something to do with also, your life, you can have something to do. You can have things to do with your life. Just become a Patreon subscriber. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to patreon.com forward slash our last, last week. week. Especially if you're a property broker. You can have a lot of fun with us. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you'll get a lot of, uh, no, well, you'll get some benefits. Some benefits. Some or if you're not a property broker, two kinds of people should sign up. Either you're a property broker. Or you're not. Or not a property broker. Just two specific kinds of people. It's very small group. Small collective. Yeah. And write your conundrums to and us. And write your conundrums to us. At our last week at audiomatic.in. Bye. Bye. You were listening to Our Last Week, produced by Rajesh Tahil and Avdut Khanulkar, hosted by Anuvab Pal and Kunal Roy Kapoor, assistant producers Akansha Kadam and Rahul Vaswani. <laughs>